I want to ask you also, yeah. you know, about uh, take you back to, yeah. as a Christian, you believe yeah. Jesus to be God? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You and I and all of us here, yeah. I believe, yeah. we believe God is perfect. Yes. Okay, he has no beginning, no end. Yes. He has a perfect knowledge. Mm. Yes? Yeah. He knows everything. Yeah. Tayyip? mean, okay? in Arabic term, yeah? <laughs> so we say, for example, yeah. in the Quran, Allah said to Prophet Muhammad, Yes, Alunaka and his Oh, Muhammad, they ask about the day of judgment. Say, no one knows except Allah. Yeah? If Jesus is God, by default, all of us, we say God knows everything all the time. Does Jesus know everything all the time, if he's God? No. Does God know but everything all the time? But I have to explain why. Uh, Before that, does God know everything all the time? He does, yes. Is Jesus God? Um, I have to explain what I mean by Jesus is God first. Okay, explain. Okay. Um, what, well, she's I, Christian? Uh, yeah, no, a little bit like. Uh, she was... Yeah, well, just, just, huh? just listen, just listen. <laughs> yeah, listen, don't worry. Because I'm always a Christian, that's why. You are more than welcome, sister. Don't worry. So the view is... <clears throat> Jesus is um, a human being who is hypostatically united to the Word of God. Okay, that's what I mean when I say Jesus is God. And as such, um, Jesus has two natures: he has a divine nature and a human nature. What do you mean by divine nature? Um, God. Yes. Okay. And the human nature. But when you and say the two natures yeah. are united in one person. Okay. That's what I mean. So, so let me just yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, and so, I, uh, Jesus would, uh, as a, in his human nature, would experience everything that a human experiences. That includes, you know, being happy, being with friends, having yeah. a nice conversation, um, and uh, being sad. You know, praying yeah. as well, uh, and having limited knowledge. In his divine nature. He is the eternal word of God. So, is it, um, that would be the summary. Okay, divine nature means he's God, the creator of everything. He knows everything. Yes. He sees everything. Yes. His divine nature, is it the Father or other than the Father? His divine nature. His divine nature is um, this, what we call um, the second person of the Trinity. Is that the Father or other than the Father? That is um, the second person of the Trinity. Who? That, that, is, um, the that is... The Son. Let, let me say, so that is... Um, share has the same essence the divine essence so now we're going to the trinity but yeah so, no problem um, i know it's divine essence yeah. right and there are three persons and the claim yeah. is that the three persons are of the divine essence but they are different relationally I understand okay? that like you have the same essence as him you have human essence he has human essence he has human human essence you are three persons but, but you share the same essence mm, well not quite there's an example i'm mentioning no, by the way this is an imperfect analogy because we instantiate the human nature but we are different instantiations of the human no no nature. i'm just generally speaking you are flesh body blood spirit yeah. flesh body spirit yeah. flesh body spirit yeah. same essence yeah. S uh, his, uh, same essence but uh, three persons yeah yeah okay what was your name sorry sir. Uh, baha baha yeah. Silvio. Uh, nice to meet you sorry. feel free to uh, no 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 problem uh, what we say to you now sorry what was your name again uh, Shamsi. sorry what's Silvio. your name Silvio. Silvio. Uh, this is my you. wife Anka. Anka. and i to meet you Anka. Yeah. Yeah. But what we say to you now that's my question to you is jesus the father or other than the father jesus as, as a divine nature. Jesus is different relationally from the Father, the but Father. shares the divine essence. I understand that. Yeah. So now when Jesus said only the Father knows the hour, yeah. that's not Jesus. That is um, Jesus who, um, I'm not sure if you had a chance to uh, uh, look at the Bible, but the claim is that um, when he was incarnate, uh, God chose to uh, humble himself, um, stripping uh, and not having access to the divine knowledge in but his human nature. That's contradiction what you said earlier. Because you said he was, he had divine nature and human nature. Yeah. But you said he had to strip himself. If he stripped himself, he had no divine anymore. No, he did. So the, the claim is that the human nature could have limited knowledge. Here's an analogy. Um, he, okay, here's an analogy, but it's an analogy, right? We but do you, would you, don't, sorry, to Kaya, don't sorry, you think... Just finish this point. No, sorry, sorry, out do, of respect. Do, do, don't you think that what you're explaining, that you can you can see your out of respect, yeah? You're literally struggling to explain something which is... No, you are. Because why? For example, now, you said to me, yeah. he had Jesus, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. uh, he had human nature and a divine nature, yeah. but they were one. Yeah, they were hypostatically united. Yeah, united. They yeah, were not one. Uh, okay, yeah, but then before you told me, yeah. 
afterwards he told me God humbled himself by stripping okay. away his nature, his divine nature. No, if no, no, I, no, he didn't strip away his nature. So, he, um, he chose not to access the divine knowledge, if that makes sense. So he chose to, because it doesn't say, doesn't say the that in the Bible. The divine nature of Jesus chose in Philipp, not to access the divine, the divine knowledge. So, he ex he, so, so the not, divine knowledge is in a cloud, if I could use this analogy, although yeah. it's an imperfect analogy, obviously, because we're talking about God, you know. Um, but the divine knowledge is in the cloud, right? He chose, out of humility, not to access the divine knowledge, making himself equal to us in his human nature. That's contradiction, you know why? Because, you know, it's like you telling me, I, I, I have humility, yeah. I'm going to tell you I don't know my name. That's not humility, that's not humbleness. There's nonsense, there's foolishness. If someone says, I have humbleness, you're going to ask me, what is your name? I say, I have humbleness, I don't know my name. Or I have humbleness, I'm becoming weak, even though, you have so to understand. Claiming that, uh, one, one second, that, I, I have yeah. to break it down. Yeah, yeah. So when you look to uh, what you just said about Jesus and a God nature and a human nature, he chose not to exercise his God's nature. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not that. That's what he said. He, he chose, chose to not. He chose not to exercise. No, not his. exercise. Not to. I, I said he chose not to um, access uh, some of the uh, divine. What do you mean by knowledge? access? Divine knowledge. Yeah. What do you mean by oh, that? Excuse me. That's for God. What do you mean by that? It was always available to him. Yeah, but it's not out of him. It's part of him. Yes, but remember, what do you we mean believe, access? We believe that there is um, that there are two natures, right, which are united. That's the claim, right? Okay. Did Jesus say that he had two natures? Uh, Jesus. Um, uh, well, so, so the Bible, the Bible, reports Jesus as divine, and also reports no, no, Jesus no, no, as no, not the whole man. Bible, not the whole Bible. That John more likely, even John, you can it's a contradiction. John in the Bible, uh, John says, Jesus said the Father is greater than, than I. I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When Jesus went back to his Father, which I completely agree. Yeah. When Jesus, Jesus, because the divine nature is greater than the human nature. And no, but you tell me Jesus had to, divine nature. But when I'm Jesus, really sorry, mate, I'm very sorry. Yeah, no problem, no problem. But you said Jesus had two nature when he was on the earth. He has divine nature. So if him and, and the Father are the same, he cannot be greater than him. Because when you said Jesus, when he was on the earth, he was God and uh, he was divine and, and human at the same time. So it's impossible for Jesus to say the Father is greater than I. What is possible, what is logical, what is logical is for Jesus to say the Father is greater than my other nature, but as a divine nature, we are the same. Yes. But Jesus said clearly, he, the Father is greater than I. And another passage said, I'm going to my Father and your Father. My God, so my God yeah. and your God. If, the, if Jesus had human nature and uh, divine nature, he is divine nature, he is God as well. Okay. But Jesus clearly always emphasized that the Father is God. The only true God is the Father, you see. So what are you doing? You have respect. You left the true teaching of Jesus. You are following your the, the church father's explanation, the, which were heavily influenced by the Greek philosophy. You understand? Because all of these terms you're using about Jesus being na human nature, divine nature, all of that, Jesus never spoke like this at all. You understand? Jesus came clearly, O oh, here children of Israel, our God is one God. Also, brother, what I'll tell you, the Old Testament, yeah? The Old Testament be teaching the whole time there is only one God, yes? And him, him is singular, yeah? And have no one beside him. G uh, uh, Jeremiah, Daniel, Abraham, okay? All of them, one God, one God. Yeah. And if anyone come to the Israelites, tell them, let us worship other than the God of Israel, you should stone him to death. Right. The, Isra the Israelites, all their life, they know God is one, okay? He's not three, okay? Then, according to Christians, Jesus come, according to you, they know there is three but in one. Then who comes after Prophet Muhammad? No, there's only one God. Logically speaking, yes. logically speaking, according to you, Christian, according to the Christian uh, uh, t teaching, Jesus opposed the Old Testament. But who goes in line with that Prophet Muhammad? Okay, does the Old Testament teach clearly, explicitly, there's Trinity? Clearly, explicitly? No. Okay. Does it does it the Old Testament teach that God becomes uh, in the in the Old Testament says, Book of Numbers, page 19, 23. He said, God is not a man that should change his mind. God is not a son of man. In Hosea, Hosea 9:10 or 9:11, it says 9:11. Yeah, 9:11. It says, 
uh, uh, God is not a man, okay? I, the Lord, not a man. Right. So that's why, you know, one of the Christian scholars said, who is a Unitarian, he said, to be honest, the Israelite, the Jewish people had, had proof from the Bible to the Old Testament to kill Jesus. Because all their life they've been taught in the Old Testament, God's not a man. Then Jesus claimed, according to you, he's God. Therefore, they have a proof because according to, it, to the uh, Old Testament, anyone that tells them to come worship God and the God other than the God of Israel, you should stone him to death. So what the Jewish were doing, they were following the Old Testament to stone Jesus. You cannot blame them. Okay. Uh, so let me comment on a few on a few things, uh, if that's okay. Yeah, the, the, remember the, 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 there were a lot of things. No, no, uh, all of them are talking about from the Old Testament proof to you, Jesus yeah. cannot be God. You know, likewise uh, 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 from the intellectual point of view. Okay, I think um, thinking about it, uh, based on our conversation, it seems to me that um, we come from different uh, revelations, or what we claim to be revelations, obviously, right? Um, because um, in what I said, right, um, that there are three um, uh, persons sharing the divine uh, essence and that Jesus um, has two natures, a divine nature and a human nature, there's no contradiction there. There is. I, I think we can agree on that. But there is. I know you think there is. Not even intellectually there is. If I say to you... But what I I'm saying is... Sorry, sorry, let me just finish the point. All right, cool. Um, but what we're doing here, really, um, is at least an attempt, let's say, at theology, although it's probably philosophy theology. Um, but, uh, but you have to understand that um, we believe the, um, these claims. These are an attempt to explain uh, what we believe was revealed. So it seems to me that the fundamental difference for us uh, is what we believe is the revelation. Right? Yeah, you, you think uh, because, because I'm um, from an Islamic perspective, that's yeah, what you think. Yeah. But I'm not. So I'll show you the Bible. That, uh, okay, but so, just a second. Um, so I, I can tell you for a fact, right? And we can also go in that direction that the yeah. Bible does claim um, Jesus to be God, um, but also claims human attributes of Jesus. I'm not negating. And so the explanation of uh, two natures. Um, is a rational uh, explanation for what for what is revealed. So, I think we agree that revelation comes first, right? Uh, we no, not we all the time. Not all the time. Hmm? Not all the time because you have firstly, like you said, no, we, we have do to agree on that in the sense that no, no, there's something okay. called sorry, there's something but called universal knowledge. Yes, yes. You yes. know, it's universal knowledge. Universal knowledge, you and I, regardless. Oh, sorry, please feel free to. <laughs> no, 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 no. Regardless, regardless of who you are, what is your belief? Yeah, yeah. There are certain things we know. For example, if I someone agree. said to me, God is perfect all the time, but God is imperfect at the same time, yeah. I don't have to be a Christian or Muslim to know that doesn't make any sense. Absolutely. Okay? So they, that's why one of the, 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 I think I dropped something, I keep thinking dropping, fine, I don't know. Anyway, I think I dropped the, 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 the yeah, handle. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, Islamically speaking, why we say Islam, uh, that's why Islam is spreading around. You know why? Because Islam goes in line with our universal knowledge. And those universal tools, you want to use universal knowledge, universal tools that being created by the creator. Because it's illogical, impossible that every human being possess those universal tools except by way of we are created with it. I, I would say high five to that. So, we, we yes. Agree. So, that so, we so we're coming now to it yeah. from that, yeah. that it's illogical, impossible, it's nonsensical to tell me that God become a baby. 